Next up is the Nether Dimension. So let's see what it has to offer. And we're into the Nether. So what does this place offer now? Let's look. Wrong side. This is the correct side. So for starters, it adds in brand new soul blocks and even the new soul sand with iron in it. Which you know can be mined with shovels. And we also have the new soul glass. Which yeah, pretty awesome, not gonna lie. We also have new soul sandstone variants. The new soul jack-o'-lantern. And the brand new mob, the soul scuttle. What the fuck was that? So the soul scuttle is pretty much a... So the Soul Scuttle is basically a hostile mob that, well, basically can be found. And they're pretty much just meant to be annoying and they spawn in souls and valleys. So yeah, they also naturally go after piglins. Yes, they naturally attack piglins. So yeah, let's see. Holy shit, fodder. Can't kill can't kill a few piglins? Right, get your friends out here to help. Kill the piglins! Kill them! Bro is fucking afraid. Imagine they just fucking Alright, what happens if you Oh you're immune to the lava damage? Wait. Fuck. All right. Oh, and you're killing that last piglin. And you succeed in it. Because that's just how built you are, I guess. I don't know, but yeah. That was the soul scuttle for you. I don't know why they hate piglins, but okay. So, yeah. Fuck. Next up, we have Gilded Blackstone in the Basalt Deltas. Basically... Blackstone, but with gold in it. Pretty awesome. What the hell is... Get out of here! Fucking bitch-ass motherfucker. Get the fuck in there, bitch. Alright. So, yeah. Next up, we have a brand new mini-boss called the Basalt Giant. No, no! Not that spawn egg! Bitch. So, yeah. The Basalt Giant is basically this overpowered beast that is capable... Of kicking your ass. And I think I need my HP. So effect. Instant. Because this dude is tough. You're going to want a shield for him. No. My God. Why do you do that? Thank you. So the Basalt Giant is actually a mini boss that you can find. They also have. Oh my Lord. That is freakishly OP. I'm going to want a new shield, maybe. But yeah, basically, there are mini boss that you can find. And you do not want to fuck with them. And you're... And, like, bro, seriously. Like, you don't want to fuck with these dudes. And I think you can see why. Try to kill it this time. Oh shit, it's using its fireball attacks. Gotta be careful. Oh my god, this stupid fucking flower. So yeah, I'm pretty much just cheesing him right now. But yeah, but it, killing him does offer a pretty nice reward. I want to get rid of this fire. Really. Oh my god! Oh my god, that is crazy! Please stop setting yourself on fire!
I swear to God, if you don't stop that. Thank you, he's dead and... Okay, he actually managed to not burn off his drops. Good. Goody. So he's going to drop some... Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, but he's going to drop... I mean, he drops gold ingots and sometimes gold-related stuff and other cool, useful stuff. And sometimes he'll even drop netherite scraps. Mostly one, most of the time, because, you know, balancing purposes, but... You know. Instant health. One, five. Because, you know. Oh, and he, did I mention that he also really, really despises wither skeletons and piglins? Like, bro, seriously. So, like, bro, let's get, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's get a one basalt giant in here. All right. So, as you can see, he has beef with them for some reason. So, yeah, this mini boss is pretty terrifying. And, yeah, I... I suggest you bring a shield when you fight this dude, and maybe an ice bolt staff, since you can pretty much make him be paralyzed. They are helpless against him! How much health do you have? Okay, he has a fair amount. If only he had, like, a fucking health indicator add-on. One that would work for all mobs, you know? Okay. Okay, let's get, like... One, two... Oh, shoot. Get these out of the way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna see just how. I love how. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, now they're all clashing. They're all clashing. Let's see who'll win. This is crazy. Oh my god, they slayed him. And they're just taking his loot. That's crazy. Oh shit, that's some cool loot. Unfortunately... I'm gonna kill all of you. So yeah, that's pretty much the, the mini-boss of the nether. So yeah, there's another mini-boss, but in the that's the end, that's in the end. So yeah, this add-on pretty much does add in two new mini-bosses, but they spawn very rarely. So you don't have to worry about them too much. No! Game out. Survival. Not creative. There we go. Oh, sp oh my goodness, that is a shit ton of stuff. This might actually be handy for something. Okay, next up we have rubies. Which are basically these... This new ore that you can find in the nether. Also has some unique uses. Four, specifically. Mainly to craft those. So yeah, the ruby bracelet will actually give you some brand new effects. And a fun fact... Piglins will ignore you. They won't attack you if you have this shit on. Except for brute piglins, which suck. So fuck! That's not fair! Not in the lava! Fuck! I hate when mobs do that! It's not fair! Fuck! So yeah, you're not gonna be safe from piglin brutes. Mm. Let me kill you. And... Yoink. There we go. That was tough. Next up, we have the Ruby Cutlass, which does only 4 damage, but it has a special ability. 
So whenever you hit a mob with this, you'll pretty much be able to get fast. So yeah, it's pretty cool and useful. Pretty cool for bamboozing motherfuckers. And you slow them down too. So it's very useful in the nether if you're trying to make a quick getaway. Let's say you're being surrounded by stupid, goofy piglins. Ah oh, shit, I forgot. I'm still wearing my goddamn... Luckily, they're all sword users, so this should be easy. All right. Dang it! And that was so close! But you get the idea... Oh. Oh, that was just a sound effect. Okay. Why do I keep on dying? Well, that's why. Because I keep losing HP. Hmm. I swear to God, I hate that fucking stupid plant. I will kill you. Like that, bitch. Next up, we have ruby carrots, which can be eaten. And you'll be... You'll have fire resistance along with night vision for a while, so yeah. And if you're wondering how to craft this, I'm not going to teach you guys anymore. Look it up yourself. <laughs> oh, we also have this new blocky item that will pretty much scare the fuck away from of every single piglin. So let's say this. Piglins are chasing you down just because they hate you. It's a lie! Let's make a quick getaway. Okay, this is this weapon's actually very helpful. Can't be the only one that hate, that really despises the fucking piglins with the fucking crossbows, right? Can't be the only one. <laughs> you know? They're annoying. Super annoying. Let's eat some cooked chevons. Ugh. They're despicable. Considering on how useful this is, I'll keep it for now. But yeah, you get the picture. Might want this too. But yeah. Actually, you know what? I should I should fucking learn how to use this. But the thing is the nether has a roof. So yeah, that won't be too helpful here. Alright, next up we have the, the cracked nether bricks. So yeah, and now wither skeletons have a unique drop. Well, I think you can guess what it is. You bet how do you hit me? With that stupid fucking sword! Wither bones. Fuck. Let's eat another chevlin. Wither bone blocks. Hang on. There. So yeah, now we have two new items. So first up, we have the volatile shroom, which if you're wondering what the hell this does, well, it spawns around in the nether, and if you step on this boy... Yeah, you don't want that. You really don't want that. Oh shit, I can't eat this. Why? 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 Also, we have the new zombified piglin brute. So yeah, that's good. Oh, but they don't naturally attack you, but... Well, you know, I think we... They're pretty much the fucking... Ooh. Wait, if I can get him to step on that. Can I even get him to step on this? Okay, I can't, that's for sure. Fucking stop dodging! 
Thank goodness. Because I want to eat something from the add-on. So, yeah. God, I hate when it doesn't do that thing. So, we have this new plant thingy, which nobody ever cares about. And, oh my god, that fucking texture physically bothers me. So, next up, we also have the dragon bush, which will give off dragon cherries. If you're wondering what they do, they, they just give you fire resistance for a little bit, basically meaning you'll want, you'll be able to walk in the fire for a bit. Yeah, that's cool. No. I mean, it's pretty cool in my opinion. Plus, they actually fill up your bar. Also, they can regrow. The thingies can actually literally regrow. Okay, let's just eat a quick tomato. And, okay, we're done for now. All right. Oh, we have shroom light bugs, which can spawn in both the warped forests and the crimson forests. And are they hostile or not? Nah? Well, they're neutral, but that's for sure. Oh, my God. And they drop glowstone dust. Oh, and you can make them breed, I think. I don't want a baby! So, yeah, they're going to have sex. And mm, like that. Boom. And you can collect melted shroom light. I don't know why the fuck you'd want to do that, but okay. Also, I don't want to deal with them because hassle. All right. So if you're wondering, what does shroom light, is shroom light actually edible or not? Nah? No, nah, it is. Okay, I hate this. This is basically faulty, but it does bring you think up a bit. Okay, next up we have the hoglin, which can actually make some meaties. So basically, we're wondering... Get in here so I can get some cooked hoglin meat. Cooked hoglin. Yeah. Cooked hoglin. My favorite. So yeah, we have a, a unique way of cooking in the nether here. And that's by using fire. Yeah. So yeah, hoglin meat. Is now a thing in the nether. Isn't that a cool nice feature? I think it is. Also, I'm going to keep that just in case. Next up, we have the pest, which is basically a fucking pest. They also really despise that plant for some reason. Like, bro, look at this. They will dead us run from it. What the hell? The amount of mushrooms here is scary. Also, if you're wondering, these things are fucking annoying little bugs that are pests that deserve to die. And you know what? Since they're pests, and they love to be pests, let's kill them off. Like that! Ugh. I felt good using that again. So yeah. They're stupid too. They have low ass IQ. Holy shit, I'm almost done with the nether. How? Well, to be fair, the other f dimensions don't really have that much features compared to the overall. Well, probably because, well, you know... Why add to the nether if there's already a lot, you know? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's put this back. And, okay, next up is uranium ore, which can also be found in the nether. And boy, is it wacky. Suss it out. Let's suss these new weapons out on the piglet. Let me put you in my inventory. Boy, do you not want to go in my inventory? Fuck! God, I swear, I've been having that issue for a while now. I'm gonna finish this. This cooked chevron at, the, at any point. I just know it. Okay, so, uh... Let's test this bad boy out. So, basically... So, first up, the tunneler. Which can be crafted using... So, actually, first up, let's test this out over there. I wonder what it does. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bam! Nuke! Cool, right? Also, the nuclear fury is a very useful weapon, honestly. Oh, shit, I forgot you were still alive. So, basically, what it does is give every nearby hostile mob negative effects, whilst it gives you good effects. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me, huh? Oh, you are not killing me. 
You are not killing me. Sorry about that. Oh, you can actually use this to craft a new food, but I'm not going to showcase that now because hassle. Oh, oh, my God. I fucking feel tired a bit. Oh, my God. Holy shit. So, yeah. Let's run! The nuclear fear, you're gonna see what it does right now! I've been scammed horribly! Well, geez. I don't wanna have to deal with those piglins again, you know? So let's get rid of them real quick. Let's go to these, another, these dudes really quick, I think. Oh, hell no. It doesn't do it to the piglins. Why? Let's get rid of you because you're really hostile. And, well, I don't want you to fuck me over. Well, I only have a few more features left to showcase of the nether. I, but God, the fucking overworld one was fucking almost 50 minutes long. How the hell am I supposed to deal with that? That's crazy. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to uranium. Next up, a few hostile mobs. This new hostile mob, the Wart Crusher, which is basically a brand new mob that's hostile that spawns in the Warped or Crimson Force. Two variants. So this is the... The crimson one? How much damage you... Okay, you'll give me fucking wither effect. Oh, hell no. And a fair amount of HP and Jesus Christ. Crimson loot? Please. No, I want to... I want a warped one. Let me get a warped one. All right. All right. No, warped. Warped. I want a warped one. Thank you. What effects do you give me? Okay, blindness. That is not good. In fact, that is terrifying. Nightmare fuel. Ah, oh, shit. All right. All right, and yeah, pretty much. Super simple. I think you already got... I think you got the concept. Fuck, let me... <laughs> okay, next up... The two final features, which are fucking just boats. Yes, boats. Because why not? Don't we love boats? So let's see. These obviously work. Okay, not really. They're buggy, definitely. Because, well, you know, Minecraft add on limitations. Bruh. They're useless if they don't work. They don't do jack. Bruh. So yeah, that's pretty much all the nether has to offer. Now, we'll go on to the next dimension in a bit.